Faulkner, the instructional leader of the school. And this morning, learners, friends, family members, you are in for a treat. This is the second year that our wonderful coach, Ching Liang, has put together a fantastic program with our seventh and eighth grade learners. As you know, all of our seventh and eighth grade learners are, are here learning the world language of Chinese. It is the only offering that we have at our school, and when you see what Coach Liang has been able to do with our learners this morning, you will understand why. I'm not going to stand up here long because we do have hosts who are going to lead you through this exciting program today. Bryn Berge, Noah Carillon, Logan Dusso, and Abigail Zupanzik. Please give a warm round of applause for your host this morning, and please enjoy the Chinese New Year show. Hello everyone, once again, I'm Bryn Berge. My name's Logan Giselle. I'm Abby. And I'm Noah. And we're here to present the Chinese New Year celebration. And today we'll be presenting all the learner performances, showcasing your language skills, and your knowledge of culture, and of the Chinese culture. Chinese New Year is the longest, most important, and traditional festival in China. Its celebration is traditionally ran Chinese New Year Day itself, the first day of the first month of the Chinese lunar calendar, to the Lantern Festival on the 15th day of the first month. This year, Chinese New Year Day falls on 10th February, last Sunday, and is the year of the snake. Not only people in mainland China celebrate um, Chinese New Year, other people in Hong Kong, Macca, Taiwan, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, and also Chinatowns all over other countries celebrate Chinese New Year. The color red means good luck and good fortune. As you can see, a lot of our learners are wearing red, and most of the decorations are also made of red. First, we'd like to thank our special guest, they are Mr. Zhao. He is the director of the Confucius Institute in the, in the University of Akron. The professor, professor, professor of Education Department in the University of Akron. <laughs> professor Teresa Minnick from Kent State University. <laughs> and Mr. Tim Miller, who is a Board of Education member. Thanks for all the parents of the learners coming to show your support. As Logan said, Chinese New Year is the most important festival in China. And I'm sure you're all curious about what they eat and how they celebrate Chinese New Year. So let's welcome the seventh graders as they present what Chinese New Year is all about. Now there are many traditions in China one of the traditions is cleaning the house and taking a sign of food, which is the Chinese symbol for, for good luck upside down. This apparently means that good fortune has arrived. And for those who don't know, this is the year of the snake.
总红梦，左手微勾，隐隐那尘土，几我千。一出最后的光，打破我阻绝你的希望，让希望变成了失望。用魔杖熬进我太宰，半心上他说谎。Chinese people count with one hand. So we're going to learn how to count in Chinese. So everyone stick their hand up. Okay, so number one is E, R, San, Su, Wu, Leo, Qi,
that you have enjoyed our performance. We are here, have a special thanks to instructional coach Lee Der Buckner, showing us a big support, and also thanks to our PTA, seventh grade and eighth grade coaches and parents, our Chinese learners who worked hard, and of course, many thanks to our special guests. Please give them a round of applause. Lastly, we thank Coach Liang for her hard work. Thank you, Xie Xie. This concludes our STEM Chinese New Year celebration. We are looking forward to seeing you next year again. Xie Xie. All right, how about our hosts? Logan and Noah, Abby, and Bryn. Fantastic job.